Robots consist of many functional components and require specialized skills in various fields. Therefore, there are limitations, which need to be overcome. We need a platform to provide the bridge between robot hardware and robot software. That's where, Ross comes in. Hi, my name is Abdullah. And today, I am going to teach you about the basics of ROS. ROS is an open source meta operating system. As humans, we don't understand machine language. For communicating with the machine hardware, we need a system that converts our input into machine input. That's where the OS comes in. OS provides a bridge between computer hardware and a human. There are many operating systems, like Linux, Windows, and MacOS. All these operating systems are used to understand the computer hardware language and communicate with them. According to Wikipedia, an operating system OS, is system software that manages computer hardware, software resources, and provides common services for computer programs. The operating system performs functions as a set of nodes. These nodes communicate with each other to perform an individual task like copying from one folder to another on Windows. Similarly, ROS also uses nodes to perform different tasks like navigation, mapping, and so on, which we will discuss in upcoming lectures. ROS is a meta-operating system. It is very popular among robot developers because it is open-source software and free to use. There are others robot operating systems like, Yarp, Carmen, Microsoft Robot System which uses to create robot applications, but we're not going to work on these operating systems. Here are some definitions of ROS, according to the author of the book, ROS Robot Programming. ROS is a supporting system for controlling a robot and sensor with a hardware abstraction, and developing robot applications based on existing conventional operating systems. Another definition is, the ROS is a framework that is widely used in robotics for robot applications programs. It provides tools and libraries for building, writing, and running code across multiple computers. That's for today, if you have any questions related to the lecture feel free to ask in the comment section below. If this video helps you to understand ROS, then like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel.